Hi and welcome to the uh, handover video for your Vauxhall Mocker. So obviously remote central locking on the car, so obviously with two keys. So to unlock it, the unlock padlock, obviously the lock padlock locks the vehicle. So uh, while we're on the outside, what we'll do, show you the fuel filler. That's on the driver's side and as long as the car's unlocked, all you do is give it a quick prod and it pops open and there you go, just the normal unleaded fuel in there. Okay. So, uh, what we'll do is we'll just access the car. So again, seat adjustment. You've got a lever at the far side there that you pull up to adjust the seat backwards and forwards. And then this handle here, obviously, as you can see, pumps the seat up or down. And this lever here adjusts the backrest. You've also got lumbar adjustment here. And obviously this will raise the very, very front of the seat up and down as well right just get into the vehicle so obviously to start the car up just insert the uh, the key clutch down give it a turn there you go now, as you can see everything comes into life so uh, you've got all your electric windows and your driver's armrest here together with the central locking button that's the uh, power cutoff switch to kill power in the rear windows, stop children playing, etc. And then this here is your mirrors, so you can adjust them on the dashboard. You've got your headlights, so you've got an automatic setting, so obviously you can leave it on that. You've also got your front and rear fog light buttons in there as well. Headlight levels, normal setting is zero, so if you've got anything really heavy in the boot you would need to adjust that. And then this here adjusts the illumination level of your dashboard, you can increase or decrease it. Okay. On the steering wheel, your horn is anywhere in the centre here. And then on this side of the steering wheel you've got your cruise control and uh, speed limiter buttons. And on this side is your audio controls and controls obviously for your Bluetooth for the telephone. Heater controls, again this car is equipped with climate control, dual climate control that is, so you can just set the temperature you want, press automatic and the car will obviously look after everything for you. You've also got controls for the heated seats, high, medium and low, and obviously the passenger seat is that button there. You've also got heated steering wheel as well, so you press that button when the light's on, your heated steering wheel is on, uh, on very very nice feature. Um, if you don't want to use the automatic climate control then you can actually take control manually so you can decrease or increase fan speed. You can actually decide where you want the air to be directed to or I say you can just press auto and the car will obviously uh, look after everything for you. If you want to turn the aircon off, that's that button there. So when the light is lit, the aircon is, is available for the, the climate control. Just turn the fan down a bit in a moment. Um, your uh, radio etc is all controlled from here. So you press that, comes up on the information panel there. Obviously digital radio, you've got your Virgin radio and again you can use these buttons here where you can uh, go across to the, uh, to the next channel etc or backwards. There you go, and obviously it uh, tunes the tones in. So what we've got on number one is Radio 1, 2 is Virgin, 3 is 3, BBC Radio 3, 4 is Hard 4, 5 is Connect, and uh, so again, if you wanted, for example, BBC Radio 2, what we'll do is we'll just uh, tune that in for you. So you're just keeping pressing the button until you get to the uh, radio station that you want. So BB Radio Shropshire, I'll press and hold that on number six. That's saved on that one for you. Radio four, we'll put that on four. Oh, radio two, that was the one I wanted. Radio two, we'll put that on two. And we say we've already got one on one. So you've got Radio 1, Radio 2, Radio 3, Radio 4, and we've got Shropshire Radio. But again, if you want any more, you just keep pressing the search button. It'll come up on the screen what the program is. And if you want to save it, just press and hold the button for five seconds until it 
it uh, bleeps at you. Um, you can obviously increase the volume or obviously you can increase it on here as well. And by pressing that in you can change the the channel from FM to digital as well. I uh, say so you just increase or decrease the volume. Your hazard lights in the centre here. Uh, now this car is equipped with stop-start technology so uh, when that green light is lit uh, the uh, the technology is, is uh, available and also you've got rear parking front and rear parking sensors so as soon as you engage reverse your front and rear parking sensors become active so obviously uh, the help with the with the parking little compartment in the top there and obviously your glove box there with the uh, the handbook service book and everything all in there for you all right now your lights i uh, say on the settings there for the automatic but your full beam and everything on the normal indicator stalk so again as you can see got your full beam there and then your chip computer in the middle here that's controlled by this dial here so as you can see if i turn that up or down it'll go through the uh, various screens that one's telling you you've got 97 miles of fuel that one is the average fuel consumption if you want to reset any of those you just press and hold the uh, the indicator there as you can see that's just reset for you so i'll leave it on the uh the fuel remaining in the uh, in the tank and as you can see from the uh, display you've got your fuel gauge engine temperature gauge you've got your speedo and your rev counter so everything's all nicely in front of the driver if you need to adjust the steering wheel you've got a little lever here just fold that down move the steering wheel up and down then tighten this back up uh, obviously um, when you uh, before you drive away Again, uh, to select reverse, it's a six speed box, but to select reverse, just a little lever there that you put that up. So all you do is you press that up across and forward, and you can hear the uh, parking sensors are picking up the car that's directly behind me. So there we have it, a uh, really nice car. This compartment here can be left open or closed. Uh, you've also got a USB auxiliary input and a power socket just here as well. So uh, auto dimming rear view mirror, that takes care of itself, nothing for you to do there. Right, so uh, I think that's uh, everything. Um, but obviously, uh, if you have any questions, then feel free to uh, give me a call or ask me when you collect the car tomorrow. Uh, other than that, I'll see you tomorrow. Um, and uh, you can go and obviously enjoy the car. And uh, thanks again.